Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I'm in my car vlogging, darling. And I decided that I wanted to get online real quick and I mean real, real quick and speak to you guys about Beyonce knows Carter. Now, number uno, I've been um on this world tour with her, this Renaissance world tour. And um I've been telling you guys about her in the United Kingdom and how she's actually been giving um some really royal treatment. She actually got the crown to couture over there where King Charles is at. Now she's in the United States and she's still getting royal treatment. I mean, her husband in particular was given a presidential library. Well, he was actually giving presidential library treatment, excuse me. And all his lyrics have been wrapped around a library, which is a thriller to me. And I told you guys why. I don't know if y'all realize it. It was like 2017 since Jay-Z did his last album, solo album, and how he's getting so much recognition. It's really interesting. I mean, there's so many more talented individuals out here, but Jay-Z, who hasn't put an album out in almost 10 years, is paying homage in a major way. There's other people that's just as talented. You know, DMX is, he's deceased. Why can't you wrap his words around a library? This man was very talented. You know, there's so many other artists out there that was better than uh, better than Jay Z. Anyhow, today we're going to be talking about Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter and her vagina. Now, today I don't know if y'all realize it on the Renaissance World Tour, Beyonce is basically saying without stating it that her vagina is on display. Oh, friend, can you imagine if you are a everyday young lady who just do your thing and have your vagina on display? People can just stuck their things in it you know their penises you know women can look at it or admire it you know it's so many things that can happen if your legs are open and you're saying here i'm marketing my vagina come fuck me basically that's a horror story in the making you know especially if you are the person who is saying i don't want that attention i never you know signed up for that I never was a whore, never will be. But Beyonce is saying, it's okay, absolutely okay to have your vagina on display. As a matter of fact, I do it. And I'm worth $2.5 billion, even though my husband, well, shit, I got to keep a close leash on him because he cheats. You know, there's a lot of things that people don't pay attention to when it comes to Beyonce. But I'm saying it is time to pay attention. As a matter of fact, Tina knows Lawson, she got online yesterday and she was talking about how she was one of the first ones who had young women on stage half nude. I don't know if y'all realize it, for her to give herself kudos in that mannerism, and if you look at women on stage now, they are literally naked. You don't really see young girls talking about, I need to make an album, and I need to be clothed. As a matter of fact, you know, as a grown-ass woman, because I'm a grown woman, you know what I'm saying? As a grown woman, I even thought like, okay, getting online, doing some fillers, Botox, you know, getting pretty, that was the route to go. I wasn't even thinking at the time about like education, speaking about facts, because you know, when you think about going online and you want to be pretty, that's the first thing that you want to do, run a Botox, fillers. And then you look at all these women who's overdoing it over consume it and they start to look real bad these women who become so like heavily vested in getting naked for views and then in the long run they go down real strong hell there's women who have died from um bbls i was one of the women who thought like bbl body was the way to go now I'm saying I want a natural body. I want more of a natural look. Even if it don't look the best, this is me. I respect me. And I hope it gets to the point that it's more women that's like that. The other day, I kind of made fun of Beyonce when I said she had no booty because that was her advertisement. She was advertising a big ass. So when I saw her with a small booty, it was very much so giving refreshing. I liked it. You know, she showed that it's normal to have a normal size, but it's okay. 
you know and also it i also like the fact that she comes online like flawed because she's showing as a mega star it's okay to not be perfect and i think she needs that terribly she needs to say it out loud that i'm flawed and I appreciate it. But one thing I don't appreciate is that she's showing her body or she's showing a woman with her legs cocked open and saying, come fuck me. It's accessible. Just imagine the restraint. Just imagine all you can do is lay down can't move and anybody can just stick whatever they want inside of you. Beyonce is saying it's okay. That to me is a thriller. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, like, comment, and subscribe. Please keep those notifications on. Please let me know that you are online. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. I don't know how this video is going to come out because I've been doing a lot of talking. And just talking about my thoughts. And, um, yeah, I did that. Bye.